Hello everybody and welcome to Darkest Dungeon. We are here once again in the Cursed Estate and we have a team prepped and ready to go and fight the Baron. Now, this is an epic length mission, meaning essentially there's going to be hundreds of rooms and it's incredibly long. There's going to be missing mini bosses along the way and it's going to be a big winding path. It's going to take us quite a while to complete, but it also means that we can leave whenever we want and continue the mission at another time. We have to be careful about what curios we use and things like that while we're out there because of this, but essentially this means that there's not too much risk in us going in. I am almost sure that we won't do it all in one go today because it could take an incredibly long time But we will get as far as we can or at least to a point where I think it's worth stopping I set up a team here and I'd like to take these teams out for both parts of the adventure because it's a really good team We start out with Victoria our Duchess who is very heavily tied to the um to the courtyard in her just her character and her backstory and she's got a really good little synergy with bleeding she does extra damage accuracy and crit versus bleeding enemies along with having pretty decent base damage and the ability to activate her post she's got also got a bit of self heal here as well with her we're giving her the elizabeth's head for that bleed resist along with the on attack apply bleed so that this has even more synergy uh, we also then have the uh, the sun for that extra speed crit and um, party surprise chance reduction when we're at higher light i don't actually know how torchlight works in the courtyard um I, I if i remember correctly you don't bring torches with you so maybe that doesn't maybe that doesn't work the same way i'm thinking it does uh, but anyways, we'll go with that anyways. Then we have Lucas, our rescuer, who we haven't used in a little while. He's also going to be going with a repost uh, on... This is pretty good, actually. This is a repost that gives bleed, which is really, really nice. Even more synergy with Victoria there. Then with the motivational hypnosis for that massive buff in healing skill and stress reduction, as well as a party-wide crit buff and a stress reduction for himself... It is limited use per battle, but we can make good use out of that. Then we have his party heal, which is um, a stress relief and a heal party, which is really nice. Uh, and then we also have this, which is pretty interesting. The nitrous oxide, which is a, st a self stun. Um... And then it uh, stress heals allies. But we just recently, uh, I said just recently, I did it just before this episode started, bought one of the crystal trinkets for him, the um, hypercubic respirator. This is going to give him extra stun resist along with his other trinket for an, an additional 30%, uh, 40% actually with his uh, trinkets. Then we get extra stress healing, extra maximum HP. On a dodge, we get 10 prot. Uh, and when an attacker hits us, they get a, st a stun resist and we get a chance to counter stun an attacker it's very very strong by the sounds of it i've not used it yet but i'm really excited and we're pairing this with the um the improved uh, orthopedics guide which is going to give us 20 percent healing skill um minus 50 bleed duration received which is nice that stun resist a uh, little bit less debuff resist a little bit less move resist and friendly skill is going to buff our chance to cure bleed which is also really nice then we've got amorous as our other healer she's bringing out the stun resist and the healing skill uh, never virtue may be a bit of a bad thing to bring with us here but for the most part i think it's going to be okay and we've also got the fortified garlic for that blight bleed and disease resist mainly for the disease resist more than anything and then we do have line us here coming here uh, bringing him out he's got the curse himself and he's just taking the eagle eyes talisman and the legendary bracer for a pretty modest um damage upgrade i mean we could maybe switch one of those out um the eagle eyes talisman for something that's gonna mean we don't take quite as much stress because that's an extra 20 percent stress there we might want to switch that out for something else but i've been kind of looking around and wondering what we could switch with it and i'm not really sure what would be best uh, we don't really want to lower his maximum HP. If we had something that did extra damage to Bloodsuckers, that'd work, uh, but we don't, unfortunately. So yeah, I'm not really sure if there's anything else that would that would really work with this guy. Um, it doesn't seem like there is too much here that we that we really want to take. We could take this for the um, for the prop and the move resist. I don't know how much move we're going to be there's going to be in here, but I think this is good for now even with the additional stress. We do have diverted here, um meaning my hero gives plus that stress. I don't know if we actually have any my hero on, but either way, uh, that's a, I think this is a, ra a reasonably good team. But before we go out, we do have quite a few diary entries written by Cell. Cell has come back once again to write some diary entries for her characters. The first one here is an entry for Prisoner 10 written from the view of Harathan. Something's different about Ten. That pale blue glow um, of a lost soul has been tinged a deep red. 
I fear it is related to the insects living in the marsh. I swear I can hear a faint buzzing coming from its chest. Oof. Very nice. And then another one for Trell here as well. My, our Revenant. I am afraid my secret will soon be known. A Revenant is not just a name, but a curse of its own. We are trained in the arts of hemokinesis to increase our strength. It is a messy affair. None, none outside I order know about the practices required to obtain these powers. I fear that the sooner uh, the end approaches, the more secrets about the dungeon and about ourselves will be revealed. Ooh, interesting. But yeah, we're going to get into the courtyard here. Like I said, I'm... I'm not super prepared for this, but also I kind of am. Uh, also, the trinkets that we're going for here. We've got the Houndmaster's Lawman's Badge, which sounds really good. Extra range skill, stress healing on camping, extra healing, a little bit minus to stun and debuff. Then Claimant's getting attack skills, mark self, uh, and buff with minus eight crits received and plus ten accuracy while marked. And then the one for Revenant here, extra damage, dodge, and prop for a tiny bit reduction in maximum HP. All in all, they sound really good. Um... Venture into the courtyard will consume one invitation. Still embark, yeah. Okay, and then we pretty much just want to bring as much as we can here. So I'm going to bring all the shovels. I don't think we really need to worry about blight. Probably bleed is going to be a concern, so I'll bring a lot more of those. Um, holy water is apparently important, so we'll bring eight of those. And like I said, I don't know if we need torches. I'll bring, I'll bring 20 just in case. And I will bring, like... I'll bring a stack of blood. I don't think we need any more than a stack. I'll bring a stack of blood, essentially just for Linus's sake, in case he needs it. But yeah, anyways, let's push out and see how this goes. I am well ready for this, but I don't know how it's going to go. We will find out. Let's jump in. They would arrive in teeming hordes, adorned in powdered wigs and pretension, seeking to slake their thirst on wine and indecency. Mel's intoxication invariably took hold. Innocuous frivolities would escalate to ever more disturbing diversions. Orchestrating the hideous affair was a hunchbacked fiend who seemed to delight in proportion to the suffering he caused. I could have stopped him, I suppose. But I was a slave to my own appetites, and restraint would have rendered me a hypocrite. Interesting. I always love his dialogue on the car on any of the bosses. But yeah, we're jumping in here, so as you can see, the map it's going to be progressing as we go through it. Um there's not much we can do about that. I don't think he can scout or anything like that, so that's why I didn't bring any scouting trinkets. Um, we're just gonna have to see how this goes. We've got our first curio here. Uh this is bandages. I don't I don't want to use too many of my um resources on curios, especially for fifty gold. Not gonna use one of those again. Um but we'll see. We're gonna have to go a lot, a lot across a lot of fights here. There's likelihood that we're gonna end up getting the curse on many of these people. We'll just have to see how it goes. Nice strike there, and that bleed as well. Um I'm gonna do this. That applies some bleed. Or should at least. Wait a minute. How does how does that apply bleed? Um, ah, that just activates the repurse, then applies the bleed. Okay, that's fine. Applies the bleed on the repurse. Um, okay, saw blades isn't really going to help us here, but it is going to hit everyone. Um, I'm going to go for it. Nice. There's the bleed coming in. This is going well so far. Uh, Amorous isn't really going to be uh, doing all that much in terms of combat, but that AoE heal is going to be huge. Incoming attack. Bit of blight coming in here. But that is going to do an AoE heal on everyone. And, um, of course, Amaris does have that really high blight resist now. Um, okay, so... No one's got stress right now, so there's not much point in doing that. We might as well just go for this. And set up more bleed on you. And finish you off like that. Not too bad for our first hit here. Not too bad at all. I'm quite happy with that. Let's keep pushing forward. There will be quite a lot of difficult combat in here as well that we've got to watch out for and be ready for. But I'm kind of I'm kind of ready for everything at this point, and I'm kind of excited to see what we come across. As dangerous as it is, this is a very exciting bit of combat. So let's prepare, repost. We've got a block there as well, which is nice. Prepare, repost. Okay, maddening wine, bit of stress coming in, but that's a dodge, very nice. Um, 
prepare repurst. And prepare repurst. <laughs> <laughs> so as you can see here, we have an entire party all with Repurse, which is really fantastic, especially when we start getting to some of the AoE attacks from this guy here. We did take quite a lot of damage there, and we even took some bleed as well, but we can cure bleed relatively easily with Lucas, our healer. Uh, we'll see how that goes. Nice block. Yeah, we'll see how that goes. Um, That's going to hurt us a little more. I'm just going to cut that off us now and be sure that that's, uh, that's okay. I'm going to go for this because I think it'll get at least one kill. Almost got two. And it bleeds everyone. Ready for this. 21. Lovely. Right. Lucas can now uh, get a heal going. Just four. It's not insane. He does have a targeted heal. But I think the targeted heals here are really going to come down to... Um, come down to Amaris. She's got a really, really good targeted heal. Along with this curing bleed, like, the blight is still a problem from this. Four blight for one round. Um, but with the amount of health that Amaris has, it shouldn't be a problem. So I'm just going to go for the heal here. Take the blight and bleed. And cure that bleed off of you after this. Wow. Yeah, that's beautiful. So unfortunately... The bad thing about that, I'm going to get rid of that real quick. The bad thing about that is it has kept the Blight and Bleed on Amaris post-combat, which isn't really what we wanted. But yeah, we're going to have a winding path here. we just got to kind of choose the directions. Apparently, there's keys and things that we can find as well that will contribute towards um, contribute towards all of this. So we'll see about that. That does actually quite a lot of damage, to be honest. Um, I'm just going to take you out. Wow, huge crit there, Victoria. Very nice. And she gets a heal from that as well, if she crits. Um, we'll bleed both of those. I like that. That debuff as well is nice. It doesn't really help us all too much, but it is nice nonetheless. I'll activate this to get that group heal going on. Healing really shouldn't be all too much of a problem with two big AoE heals coming in. Uh, but it, it depends. Got our doggies here coming in clutch. Gather the blood. Okay, nice. Um, what we can do is we can prep this. Gives everyone crit. Really, we should be starting off battle with that, but I do like to start off with the repurst. And there's a crit there. Even more healing coming in. It's lovely that crits heal her. Re even, even more so re um, reduces our requirement for, um, for healing. Uh, nice. We can just finish you off with that. Lightness has pretty good damage. And yeah, we got some really good uh, stuff going on with Line, uh, with Lucas here. Lucas and Linus, that's going to get confusing. So we can burn this. I can never remember what they do if you burn them. Let's give it a go. Okay, we got some extra blood. That's nice. Um, we're not going to take it yet because we don't need it. Uh, we'll probably come across quite a lot of good loot throughout this and be switching out what we're holding quite often. We'll see how that goes. I'm pretty sure there's battles in every single room as well. The thirst coming in. Well, you're not going to... You're not going to give us any disease because we've already got one. Only problem I'm seeing right now is Linus does unfortunately have a very low health pool. Um, like a very, very low health pool. So that mixed with his curse driving his health pool down even further is slightly problematic. I'm going to prep this and go for the heal next turn. Up that healing skill for next round by a lot. We do take a bit of blight there. Uh, but that's not that big of a problem. Let's do that. Nice. Getting that bleed on everyone is really, really good. Uh, do you know what? Let's take on let's take on some of the fray and heal ourselves up. Marking us and buffing our prop essentially means we're going to take most of the damage. Apart from, obviously, the fact that Victoria is marked. I didn't even think about that. I probably should have brought more Blight Resist, actually. I wasn't even thinking of how much we'd have going on with that. Deafening Wine. We did miss. Uh, he did miss, even. Coming in with a Thirst. Okay, that guy's gotten a lot bigger there. Um, don't worry about it. Let's um, let's get that off of us and take out you. Pretty much a guaranteed kill there. And then, because we've still got this buff, this heal should be pretty significant. Yeah, six for everyone. That's really good. And a stress heal for ourselves as well. One, one stress that's getting up a little higher, we'll start using our nitrous oxide a little more, but we shouldn't need that yet. Uh, getting that prop there is really nice as well. Um, I'm going to take out you because you're not bleeding. And let's just activate Repurst here. Got to remember as well, Repurst is really good on this guy because it just keeps buffing his Death's Blow resist. So even if he gets low life, it doesn't matter all too much to us. That crit there does hurt. Especially considering the crit applies a ton of Blight. 
I reckon we can, like, leave that blight on, though, and not really worry about it. Or at least I hope. Thirst coming in once again. I was just about to say, I can feel it coming. I think Lucas is going to end up getting the curse, but he, he he did. That's fine, honestly. It was it was bound to happen. This I, I drove this group in here knowing that they'd get the curse. Victoria actually has some cool interactions with the curse. I'm fine with her having it. Um, and Amaris and Lucas, uh, while I would prefer them not to, if we beat the Baron, I believe it removes the curse. So that's kind of nice. A momentary abatement. Nice. Everyone's full health now. Take you down. Yeah, it's, it's something it's something I expected and kind of prepared for. Let's just see how far we can get. We'll probably end up taking this on everyone. I think this is, uh, yeah, if you give blood. I don't really want to give blood. I'm going to leave those. We can come back for any curious that we find. We can see them on the map, so. Okay, so he's craving now. Wait, what? What did I just do? Did I just fuck up? Um, whoops. Um. What, 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 what did I just do? I thought you were supposed to feed people blood when they were craving. Is that not what you're meant to do? I don't think that's what you're meant to do, is it? Um. Whoops. I guess. So what? Does he just die now? Um. Um. I don't know how the curse works. Is if that's not obvious. I thought we had to give them blood. I thought that was the point. I thought that's why you brought blood out with you. I thought you gave them blood to quench their thirst. It seems that I've just made him more hungry for blood. Is I definitely haven't done that right, have I? I mean, he's he's got a big buff now, which is nice. But at the same time, I, I kind of feel like he's going to have a heart attack and die. Oh my god. Was not expecting these enemies in here. But they're here. I think we have to prepare the crit here. Give everyone that crit. I'm a little scared, you know. I'm a little scared. I did not know what that was going to do. We can pray. That's bad. My, at least he did it on our healer. Skull toss. Nice dodge. Um, I'm going to do this here. Heals us up and gets everyone attacking us for the most part. Got three people that are marked right now, though, so that's not great. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I think I really, really fucked up, didn't I? I think I really shouldn't have done that. Didn't want you to do that, dude. Really didn't want you to do that. Because Amorous can't really do anything from back there. Yeah. I don't know what I did, but it was obviously bad. Nice repost. Okay, get you back there. Heal everyone up. Ah, uh, damn, I'm so... I, I really don't know what I've done here, and it's very scary. <laughs> It's very scary. Howl coming in. That's going to horror us all. The abyss returns even the boldest gaze. I'm just going to set up a post because it gives us a block. And set up a post here as well. Heals everyone up. Stress heals people. Uh, now we're going to use this. Hey, that's a really good stress relief there. Nine on everyone. Nice hit. Let's get this out of the way. Nice crit there. Crits on bodies don't heal you up. Okay, howl again. Wow. Stress is coming on hot and heavy here. Coming on hot and heavy. Luckily, though, we got our stress levels down relatively quickly there. Nice hit. And a bit of bleed there as well. Get that repost going, I might as well. Skull toss. In comes that stress. Wow, that's a big stress hit. That's a big HP and stress hit. 
Let's hope we can remedy some of that. At some point. I really hope I haven't doomed us here. I really think I might have properly badly fucked up with uh, Linus there. I, I I clearly don't know how the how the Crimson Curse works. I I really did think that you had to use blood on people to to quench their thirst. I didn't think it would just make them more hungry for blood. <laughs> to be honest, and that's scary. I don't know when his heart attack comes either. I know that they have like a heart attack once they get too once they get too thirsty or whatever. Oh hello, a fight straight away. Nice hit, and the bleed as well. The thirst coming in. At least he's taking someone that already has the curse. It's a big heal. He got a crit heal off of that. Unexpected. Let's get this going. That crit bonus is nice, along with the stress relief. What's he doing now? Oh, that's a nice hit. Very nice hit. You're dead. Gather the blood. Oh, wait. Okay, he's not... He's not thingy anymore. Okay, that, that did work. That did work. Oh, God, I was panicking a lot there. That did that did work the way I thought it did. He's no longer... Uh, he's no longer thirsty anymore. Good. So it basically makes them a bit mad for a little bit, then returns them back to normal. That's good. Oh my god, that's good. <laughs> that really did scare me. I'm only going to go down to six shovels here. I know that shovels are really useful for other stuff. Um, I'll take them for jades. Go through. Oh my god, right. What are we opening with here? I think we're opening with repost. On everyone, I think. I think I'm going to set up a repose on everyone here. That's beautiful. That's just beautiful. Absolutely obliterated. You are you are damn well correct there. Nice. Oh! Yes! This is going so well. Oh, at first I was afraid. I was petrified. But now, it's all okay. Right, got Repost ready on everyone. Having a full team of Repost is, is crazy, if you can keep it up. Oh my god. Oh my god. You got debuff. My- What? Wait a minute. Linus's debuff, 120- Oh, 140% chance to both lower speed by 7 and dodge by 25. That's insane. That is ludicrously good. What does the debuff on, on the dogs do? Um, ah, it's the it's, it's the uh, bleed, I think. I'm not ex exactly sure what it's what keeps happening with that, but there you go. Okay, you're dead, I think. Yeah, you're dead. Nice. That was awesome. Uh, we got some of these. As victories mount. So Technically, they are distance. worth more than the Onyxes, so I will take those. I'm also going to get rid of that because we'll, we'll use it in a battle at least. We'll get rid of that soon, though, because we don't need it, and it's just taking up space. I'm loving this group so far. This group is working exceedingly well. Okay, this room did not have combat in it. I mean, damn it, you can scout in here. If I'd have known you could scout in here, there's definitely some changes I would have made to a few of our trinkets. I probably wouldn't have taken the eagle eye. I would have taken something that gives big scouts. Um, we'll go this way. Um, that is bandages. I'll go for bandages. I did say I wasn't going to use one of those again. I still do regret it. I got 50 last time, though. At least this time I got 1,000 gold. I got a battle here. It shouldn't be all too hard. Um, I can kill this guy in one hit pretty reliably. Yeah, let's do that. Let's get a repost up. Basically, when everyone's full health, we might as well go for a repost here. Okay, these two have prot. It might be worth doing that because it lowers prot and armor pierces slightly. I don't think it's full armor piercing, if I remember correctly. Uh, let's have a look. 
Um, oh no, it's it's full armor piercing. It just doesn't have full uh, it doesn't have full damage modifier. But then it uh, lowers that prop. So now you have base prop. Okay, that's Linus is actually way more way more uh, agile and useful than I thought he was originally. Gather the blood. Still no bleed on you. And you can go down. Then them, them enemies go down very quickly. And let's just do a quick AoE heal here. And why not get a quick AoE he heal here? A little bit of stress relief as well. And there you go. Done for. Okay, we are pushing through. We are pushing through. Creatures can be felled. They can be beaten. Can be felled. They can be beaten. I am loving this. We're at 25 minutes, so we've got time. Um, let's see. Likely we'll kill this guy in one hit. I'd rather go. I'd rather go for the kill in one hit than set up a repurst. Although the repurst is insane sometimes. That's coming in there. That's okay. Definitely need some stress relief here. Uh, I'm gonna do nitrous oxide here. Nice. Um, right. I think we do this. Lower that dodge and speed. Very nice that you can do that. Uh, set up repost here. Lowering that speed is probably the biggest thing, I think. The spe lowering speed is insanely good. Repost there, especially with him having such low health here. Being able to kill things before we get hit is important. Ooh, okay, so he's craving now. So we do just give him blood, right? <laughs> I'm still a bit confused. Oh, damn, you had some prot there. I didn't realize. Uh, that bleed should kill you. Uh, it won't quite. I think we give him some blood after this combat, don't we? Nice. There we go, that bleeds you. Sadly, there's bodies in the way, but that does set you up for later. Whoa, that was a big hit. Luckily, our health pool here is pretty big, so that doesn't matter all too much. We'll have to do some stuff about that. Bombing run. Really, can you leave him alone? Thank you for dodging. Um, I think we go with a party heal here. I know it only heals you, but four heals still good. Finish you off. And didn't really want to finish you off, but we did. Okay, we got some we got some blood back, so we give you some blood now. You're in bloodlust. It's interesting how that works. I didn't know how that worked, but I'm I'm kind of kinda of liking it. Uh we get stress relief with this, I'm pretty sure, so let's uh do that. Hey, that's good stress relief there. Yeah, we do need shovels to get by certain places. I was right about that. Let's not use any more shovels for curios coming up. We can camp as well if we find certain curios. Um, I can't remember exactly which one it is, but I'll probably know it when I see it. Scouting there. Just go straight ahead for now. I'm unsure exactly what we're looking for here, but I'm sure we'll know it when we see it. Yeah, let's take these guys out. They're pre pretty hard combat here, definitely. Uh, I'm going to do this straight away. I think this is another one where we should activate repurse on as many people as possible. At least these three are um, here. Amorous doesn't matter all too much. Nice crit. Low as that dodge as well. His dodge is high, so that's good. In fact, we're just going to activate on everyone. Yeah, get it going on everyone. Oh, ho, ho. all the dodge. All the dodge. And a lot of the time, Harry Post can kill as well, so that's good. Oh, they're both dodging, so we still got our block. That's so good. That's so good. I wasn't expecting that. Um, Let's just go for the kill on you. Taking out anything's better. Okay, so he's moving forward. That's not particularly a bad thing. We'll set up that again to get a kill there. And... I think we just go for that to lower that armor and get that armor piercing as well. That this is where Linus really shines. That armor piercing skill is better than better than anything else, I think. 
better than anything else. I set repost again. I might heal myself up next round if I get the chance. Nice dodge yet again. Uh, right. I'm just... Nah, I'm not. I'm going to heal. Get as much healing on air as, as we possibly can. Set up a repose here. We get another block. Don't need it. Um, do that because I don't want to kill you. But I do want to set up a repose. That's fine. Definitely, definitely want to do that now. Right, let's let's go. Let's get you healed up. There we go. Big 10 heals. Like that. The blood quickens. And another heal here. Now we can finish you off before reinforcements come, I think. Get that body out the way. I think Linus should be able to finish you off very easily anyways with this. He can indeed. Good, good. We probably want deeds here. Um, anything we can lose for some deeds. I'm going to lose emeralds for deeds. I think deeds are more important. They could come up more often too. Even more scouting here. It's difficult to say. I'm going to guess... We don't want to loop back around to the beginning, so let's go this way. Go back through here and back over here. Like I said, it's really difficult for me to know, because this is an epic mission, so it does take a lot to get through, but we'll 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 try pushing on. But yeah, basically, apparently when we want to leave, we just regroup at the hamlet, and then we can come back in and we start exactly at the room we finished in. Okay. Skull tosser guy. Shouldn't shouldn't be too difficult. There you go. Um, stress one, two, one, four. Okay, let's just use this then. Does a good amount of damage to the maggots. Um, it won't kill both of them. Just go for a kill here. Sweep him out. And yeah, definitely doing this. Lower that prot a huge amount. Save us a ton of trouble. That skill is invaluable. Invaluable. Linus, you are... You are a beast. This is where we're going to be taking most of our stress when, when he actually lands his horror, but luckily didn't. God damn, that, that animation of that dog is so aggressive. These St. Bernards. They're, 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 they're hounds. They really are. Go for another hit there. Nice. Indeed it does. Crazy. Okay, we will get rid of another one of those. Nice. A few extra bits and bobs. Hmm, okay, so this was a dead end. Wasn't expecting that. I guess I'll go back over this way here, but I still th I think that's going to be a dead end as well. I guess we have to check though. There's there's no way of us knowing. Holy shit, wait. Hmm. I should have brought more blood. <laughs> I'm surprised how quickly each person here is uh is going into craving. I'll wait until we get a bit closer to battling something before I give him the blood. Keep keep the buffs up as long as we can, because his damage is actually really valuable. Hey, we just got some blood back. Okay. We'll pop it now. Right. 70, 70, 90, of course. Even, even in the traps of this area, Linus knows what he's doing. I don't even know why I check when I've got the trap maker on me. Just makes sense who you go for, doesn't it? No stress relief needed here. Uh, bandages, yeah, we're not going to do that. I want to keep my bandages from now on pretty much. Definitely should have brought more blood. Okay, so it does it does carry on this way. Might as well keep doing these because we've been getting blood from them. We do need it. Werewolf only. Nah, we don't need that. Thought that was something to do with the Miller trinket. It looks very similar. It is not. Okay, keeps going this way. 
Hallway stress is a small problem, but it seems that we're only receiving one stress each tick. Okay, next battle. When we got two of these guys in the back, it is difficult, but starting out with um, with this, where we surprise them, is great. Because it means we can set up a post stress-free. Almost killed that guy as well. Yeah, everyone sets up repurse before they even get a turn. It's great. Okay. Yep, you're taking some damage, sir. Oh, we did get stunned there for the first time. Okay, we're going to have to get some healing going here. Certainly. Take you out. Nice crit. It's going to heal us up. Victoria is basically never going to need healing. Oh, yes. A crit heal as well. An important one, too. Nice dodge. And you're dead. You made the wrong choice there, dude. Uh, let's go with this for that self heal. Gets us up to near full health. I love the fact that stress just doesn't exist for this party at all. What is stress? Okay, come on. Get us a crit and heal yourself up, Victoria. You know you want to. Nah, unfortunate. Unfortunate. Top everyone up. Break that armor there. Get that going. Oh, this is just, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm really enjoying this so far. Probably because I'm doing well. If it goes badly, I'll enjoy it less. No stun on you, unfortunately. That counter stun hasn't hit once yet, actually. That's a big hit right there. Do you know how I said it's going well? Well, it's not going well anymore, and I'm scared. I am very scared. Don't worry, though. Once it's Amorous' turn, we can get a really, really big heal on him. I hope. I'm, I'm going to play this out. Get a heal going. There we go. That's what we're looking for. Basically a HP trade. And there's even more healing coming in. Great stuff. Ten. Oh, beautiful. And that cures that bleed as well. Nice. That worked out really well. We get two blood here as well. I do kind of want to take that blood, but I don't know what to trade for it. Let's trade this. I, I like it, but I don't want I don't need it. It's good, but it's not. Um key. Cool. We're at a hundred crests. What the hell? One hundred crest arenas. Okay, so. We have new paths to take. So, slightly annoying that we're going to have to walk all the way back through all of this. But it's got to be done. Make our way through. Okay, we're going to have to fight a few extra battles along the way back as well, most likely. And it's probably going to cost us a little bit of blood as well, which is why I wanted to take the extra. Oh my god, that is a terrible, terrible looking bit of combat there. Definitely getting a block on us. Um, I'm just going to prepare for Victoria's next turn and get them both bleeding. Okay, that didn't quite work. Um, it's okay. It's okay. But that is very scary to see. Very scary to see indeed. Okay, and that's why I want Repurse going on. It's going to hurt. It's going to hurt you more than us, though. Oh, no! Victoria, no! That's terrible for us. That's terrible for us. I really needed you there. Um, I'm going to just kill you. I'm hoping that kills you. It does. Good. This is going to hurt. Yeah. We need a crit out of Victoria, really. That would, that would help out an insane amount. Victoria to get a crit and heal herself up to near full would be great. So let's hope for that next turn. We're going to get that going. Oh, that was the wrong one. No, I meant to do motivational hypnosis. OK, 
Okay, I'll lower that prop. And finish you off with a crit. We can pray, that's fine. You're not going to get another chance to hit us, so that's okay. We even resisted it anyways. Damn, no crit. Oh well. That works out well enough. It works out well enough. We're going to have to go through some hallways we haven't been through, but I don't really want to walk the long way around. Easily kill this guy with one hit. Yep. We seem to hit on the higher end of our damage scale quite often with this character, with Victoria, so we'll go for that whenever we can. Ooh, that's interesting. I've not seen that before. 25% damage for both of them. Um, what sort of damage is that going to deal? 3 to 6. Go for that. Oh, really? One off a kill? One damage off a kill? Munch. Oh, I was going to say that's going to hurt, but now we've got the reversed. Lovely. Wasn't expecting that. Very nice to see. Finish you, and you should die. Oh, you're not bleeding. Now you're craving. God damn it. God damn it. Okay, we got some blood back there. This expedition at least promises Probably using blood completely wrong here, but I don't know. I'm just doing what I think is easiest. I right, pro probably get a battle here through one of these co corridors. Maybe not this one, maybe the next one. There's a two-space corridor here. You watch us get a battle right here. Oh, we didn't. Okay. Made our way through quite a lot of this already. We're going strong. Still nowhere near the Baron, though, I don't think. Apparently, there is literally hundreds of rooms. Um, I just got an achievement called More Than a Weary Traveller. I'm not exactly sure what achievement that is. Uh, walk 500 steps with one hero. Interesting. So someone here has been out on enough adventures to walk 500 steps. I'm surprised it's only 500. You're in bloodlust right now. Yeah, you are. Cool. We've got enough blood to survive this time, though. We picked up quite a lot just, just then. I'm imagining this way is going to be the correct way this time. I love the gates and the, the detail in this area. Okay, maybe not. <laughs> Thought this was going to be the right way. Lots of dead ends around here. Yeah, scouting clearly would have been a good way to go with this. And I probably should have gone for more scouting than I have. Alright, bit of combat coming up here. We can take it on the... Just fine. I'm surprised Victoria has yet to get the curse. We can actually kill those in one hit. So I think we activate her a post and set up for the long haul part of combat. I like doing this. This seems like a really good start. Nice. And a dodge as well. It's even better. Yes. Hera Post is so strong. Post coming up here. Get everyone healed up. Everyone is healed up, but give us a bit of stress healing nonetheless. No Hera Post there, unfortunately. I'll get Hera if we actually hit something. We're just going to go for this and get the kill. And the extra damage. We don't need the healing or anything. Don't need the stress healing. Might as well just go for the damage. Same with this. Double the bleed. Finish you off. And the bleed should kill you, right? Yeah, it will. Nice. Easy. Okay. Gotta go all the way back here. I, I would like to see... Uh, a semi-fast travel system in, in dungeons like this. Where you can just... You can just click to an area, and if you ha if it spawns a fight along the way, you do the fight. If not, it just teleports you back, so you don't have to backtrack walk as much. Especially at default walk speed, I'm, I'm playing with a faster walk speed on now. But especially with a default walk speed, this, this would be just tedious to walk back and forth. Haha, stress relief, as if we'd need that. Um, right, let's get him drinking some blood. A locked gate. Okay. So we can't go that way yet. That is one of the gates I was talking about. There is locked gates that we can come across. Does look like, unfortunately, that means we're probably going to have to... Um, what the hell happened then? We're probably going to have to uh, chuck away some of the stuff in our inventory to pick up these keys. 
I was really hoping that wouldn't be the case, but looks like it is. Which is a real shame. Right, can we kill any of you in one hit? It's likely we'll kill you in one hit. Ah, one HP off. Which means you're dead, but that's good. Does enough for us. Gets that bleed started off. Does really good damage as well, to be honest. Yeah, so maybe we'll try and get past that first gate and then end off the episode there. That'll be like our first section of this. Wow. I love the evolved form of the, of, of this uh, enemy. Looks so good. I mean, horrific, but also great. It's dead. You're dead now, aren't you? Oh, no, not quite. You are now, and we get a heal out of that as well. Not that we needed it. Oh, but it was a crit heal as well. Why, game? Why are you like this? Victory, but a victory nonetheless. Okay. So, yeah, we have to go and find this key before we can get through this door. Finally getting some more scouting, so this should be the right way. I will do this. Gives us a decent amount of blood sometimes. Lots of money there. Bunch more crests. I think we've got... The fact that we've got 100 now probably means we should stop with the crests. Okay, let's keep going forward. <sighs> this is a bad bit of combat here. Skull tosses are always a pain. Um, yeah, set up this because we know that we can lower that, um, that prop by a lot. So that's what I want to do. Ow. Buffs your dodge by a hell of a lot. Okay, so he just did what he wanted. He activated for a post. That's not terrible. Not what I wanted, but not terrible. Nice dodge. I'm going to activate your post as well, you know. Why not? And your post as well. Why not? All of them have got repost. Okay. Oh, that was a huge hit. Nice. And let's go and lower your prop by a lot. Makes this combat much easier, especially considering you've already got that lower dodge and speed as well. Beautiful. I'm actually going to do some um, stress healing here. So we do have... Our stress is climbing. Not a lot, but it's climbing up there. We really don't want to have anyone's over 20, to be honest. That was bad. The, the, that, was, that was bad for multiple reasons. The sort of biggest reason that was bad is it ended combat, which means that the next combat we get into... If we don't get a heal on Linus straight away, it could be problematic. Uh, this is a heal, isn't it? Alright then. <laughs> I, I ignore everything I was just saying, because it doesn't matter. Because he is healed up now. <laughs> that worked out perfectly for us. Ooh, okay, what's going on now? Uh, you're in bloodlust still. You're in craving. The birth and craving now. It does work out with that damage and speed buff. I like that. I kind of, I can't, I'm kind of liking this now. The crimson curse isn't as bad as I thought when, when you, when you take into account the curse and, and everything, the, the sort of effects of it craving and stuff. It's kind of interesting. Uh, we can get a kill here. I reckon we should go for it. Yep. Yeah. Rather than repost. Um, and here we're gonna go for armor breaker on you. Take all of that pro off you. That did hurt quite a lot. We get that party-wide... Ooh, that was a nice crit heal there. Get that party-wide heal going on with you and that'll cure that bleed right off of us. When we get to that, at least. That was a lot of buff checks there. When's it going to be our turn? <laughs> I feel like it's taking a while for it to be our turn. Let's go with this. Oh, ho, ho, nice crit on the perfect person as well. And we get that cure. Take you out. Okay, these two are going to be harder, especially with those bodies there. Very blast. No repose on either of those. But he did stun himself. Unfortunately, he'll stun blindness too. Amaris, you're going to need to do some big heals. Big heal. Oh, my God, this is bad. Um, I think I'm just going to go for this still. Yes, I was going to say, and hope for bigger heals that way. Because then both people get it. I'd rather have both people get a half heal than one person get a huge heal. What are you going to do, dude? Okay, you're not going to do anything huge. A 
Okay, feeling a little better now. We're going to have to take out one of these bodies, aren't we? We can't do anything until that's done. Nice. Armor's ripped off of both of these guys now. Oh, yours has come back, actually. Nice. Ah ha Linus getting the crit this time. It always gives the crit to the person that needs it most. I swear. Nice. Get rid of that body. This should be pretty much taking them out. Yes. Nice crit. And you're done. Nope, you're not. Okay, I was expecting that to kill. That'll kill, though. That'll kill. Oh, we got some firewood from that. Um, mm, certainly tempting to take the firewood here. Uh, what have we picked up that we didn't have previously? Because we did have a slot for um, blood that's been filled by something. Like, what, what, wait, what? What is it that we just picked up? I'm going to throw away those. And I'm going to bring the, the wood with me. I really don't want to leave blood because it's useful. Torches. It's, it's the extra crests. That's what it is. More scouting here. Carry on going. Now that we've got campfire, I really do want to um, be careful. And, like, continue as far as we can. I don't want to pull out because we'll lose that firewood if we do. But at the same time, we're on 50 minutes. I probably can't continue for too much longer. Still scouting ahead. Okay, got a few of the corpse eaters here. These guys could, should go down relatively fast. Let's prep that because that does a lot of damage. You're dead. Mm, nice. Okay, you're, you're almost dead as well. Bit of stress relief here. I don't really need the healing. But a tiny bit of stress relief across the board is good. Even better. Try and do some stress relief off of him in a minute. Ah, oh, I shouldn't have done that. Victoria's not going to be able to reach now. Okay, no, that's fine. <laughs> that worked out. That works out. Okay, we're at maximum money stack now. We probably want to trade something out for money. It's going to be difficult for what we trade for what at the minute. It really is. It's going to be a hard balancing act. We do get to take all this back to town, though, so... We can do that soon as well. Okay, so maybe this skips the gate. Going this way, because this, this door here is the gate. Maybe this skips the gate going this way. Hello, you want blood, don't you? I will give you blood and see what we get. Sadly, nothing good. Um, One round, yeah. It's going to be gone, sadly. That was not worth it for the blood. Definitely not. Yeah, okay, so this, if we go through here. We've got more firewood. We've got two firewood. Oh my god, I can't have to continue here, don't I? I forgot that this guy can loot firewood. Okay, so the gate is just locked. Like, you can go around it, but you can't, like, go through it from the backside. We definitely need some stress healing going on here. Got two people that are in the three ticks of stress. 31, 31. Yeah, we'll get some stress relief going on in this next turn. Should be an easy one to get some stress relief on, actually. Kill you. Noise. Nice stress healing for both of you. Ooh, wasn't expecting a crit there. It's going to be a lot of blight. Nice. I'm going to go for another stress heal here, even though we need actual normal healing. But this this can solve that problem. And getting our stress as low as possible is important here. This shouldn't kill you. Sex of its repair. As long as you don't attack us, that'll work out fine. Nice. Okay. I could go for one more if, if possible. I do want to go for one more. Get everyone's stress all the way down. 
We'll try it. We'll try stall for one more. There you go. That works out fine. Please don't call in reinforcements, dude. One more turn. Okay, good. He didn't. Munch dodged as well. Awesome. We'll even go for one more. Holy hell. Lots of stress relief. Damn it. It's horrible to leave a sapphire. It's 1,000 Mooney right there. But we're not going for money. I'm not going for money, so don't worry about it. Oop. Hello. Crocodile. Don't think Repurse really does too much here for us. Might as well hit him there. Right, what do you have? You have prop. Let's lower that, shall we? God damn, this guy has a lot of HP. Deathrick. Oh, damn. That's terrible. That's real bad. <laughs> uh, it's it's not awful in terms of positioning. But, yeah, that's not, that's not great. We just don't have much movement in our group here, so I don't like that. I'm going to just apply a bunch of blocks to myself here. Oh, nice crit. We can't do too much damage to him with everyone else here. Okay, Repost is definitely good against this guy, though. Um, right, let's lower a bunch of his other stuff. Oh, he, he re rejected that one. Nice Repost. Yeah, we're just going to keep slamming on the Repost, I think. Makes sense. This actually, okay, this composition works fine. Everyone can do what they need to do. Apart from you, you can't activate your repurse, but that's that's fine. I can deal with that. Oh, wait, you can. This might actually be a better comp than I was thinking. I might change over to this. I'd change some skills around. Um, let's buff up crit. Submerge. Oh, damn. 45 dodge. Lower that dodge, come on. Yes! Apex Pred. I was told he could only do Apex Pred. Wow. I was told that he could only do Apex Pred from one position. Awesome. I thought he could only do it from position one or position four. Maybe when he submerges, it changes how that works, possibly. Heal myself up. Maybe, I don't know, maybe I got it mixed up. Teeth rake. That's pretty bad. Victoria's fucked now. God damn it. Um. Yeah. Activate repurse and just get that dodge and speed down. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> Victoria's still kind of screwed where she is. Okay, nice. Keep those debuffs going. Get that party healer popping. Cure that bleed and such. Luring fear. Okay, that's fine. We can still hit you from there. I'm going to keep popping this as much as possible. Well, the two times I can pop it for that 160% pro. Oh my god. Can't touch this. Dum, 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 dum. Dum, dum. Can't touch this. He does not bleed very much, does he? Okay, we're getting through him, though. We're getting through him. He does have some fairly gnarly buffs, but we're getting through him. On the corruption. Ah ha ha, we did bleed him. Okay, Victoria's set up very well now for a good attack here. Come on, Victoria. Hit him where it hurts. Teeth rake, that's bad. Yeah, oh, Victoria, god damn it. It's gonna be Victoria's turn next as well, isn't it? Lower some of that stress while we can. 
everyone here is in a bad position. Haha! -ha. Didn't do jack shit to me, mate. Uh, let's get rid of that. I know that we don't need the repurse activating particularly. Oh, we didn't even get the debuff. God damn it. I was really hoping we would there. Stop going for them. Okay, I think you can only go for the back line with T3, actually. But this is proper messed up our comp right now. Um, I'm going to have to keep pulling her to the front. She's got blocks, so uh, it works. Stress is a little bit of an issue right now. I don't think we need to deal with stress right now, though. I think healing's more important. I'm a breaker. If we can get that prop reduction. Damn it. Really hoping we'd be able to get that then. Because then that works really well with Victoria. Every time he gets bled, Victoria doesn't get the chance to hit him. It's so annoying. Only nine damage. Probably should set up the repost here, to be honest. Then we'll go for the stress reduction here. God damn it, dude. Oh, thank God. Move resist. Lovely. Please get debuffed. Damn it, he's so good at resisting that. <laughs> nice. Sedated. I didn't realize, actually, the, the re resisting Blight and Bleed is insanely good on, on uh, our dude here because of this move. Blight and Bleed. Self, but Blight and Bleed. Like, that's really good for dodging that. Get that crit chance up again. Oh, this has been a struggle. I'm going to set up Repurse here. This has been a struggle. My god. Oh my god. Damn, we're so stressed. Um, right. Uh, let's go with that. Try and lower his stats a little bit. God, that, he's so good at resisting that. Debuff 90%, that's why. Holy crap, that's bad. I was nice. What? Where did your stress get so high, dude? What the hell? Keep that going. Can't I can't switch with you. I'm gonna have to stress relief. Oh god, this is not a good comp in terms of positioning. T3, that could help us. It kind of helps us see plus Victoria in a really bad spot, but it puts Linus in a good spot. We finally got AD buff on him there. Submerge, he heals up a bit. Annoying. I think we go for the heals here. This is stressful. It's annoying me that Victoria is in a really bad position right now. I guess we're just going to have to keep switching with her. Apex on you isn't terrible. Honestly, Apex on you works for us. I'm going to keep doing this to try and lower your prop. It's never going to work. He's only got 10 prop, I know, but still. Nice heal. Oh, yes. Crit heal there as well. Nice. Yes. Block on repurst. I'm actually going to do this so Victoria can get a hit in here. Lacking fear for that damage. And nice hit. He's at 16 HP left. He's probably going to heal here. Yeah. Submerge. Thought so. I'm guessing he's going to keep doing this. He dodged. Okay. Finally. That's the first time he's dodged. I said finally. I don't want him to dodge. That team that pretty much gets rid of all that heal. Applies a bleed. Oh my god. Apex coming in. This is bad. It's not not terrible. That was that was bad, but not awful. I was expecting that to be worse. And we got the crit heal on us as well, which is great. Lucas taking that is very nice. 14 there. He's got two HP left. Yes, we got him. We got him. Wonderful. Ooh, okay. Abomination. Hmm. Is it Crimson Court Trinket? So I do want to take it, but at the same time, I don't need it. 
at all. <laughs> I'm gonna get rid of medical herbs. We haven't been using those at all. We'll throw a key in here, see what we get. Nothing. Right, okay. Reorganized position. Right, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna end off the episode here. We're gonna go through our other two diary entries. Um, but then I'm just gonna leave the game. Like, I'm just gonna literally close down the game right here. And we should resume us right here from correct in thinking that. Either way, I hope you guys have enjoyed this one. Like I said, last few diary entries again from Cell. This is from Venus and Mars. Um, one for Mars. The others act as if I feel no emotion at all, like a machine built to kill. Well, perhaps I am, but that doesn't mean I enjoy it. I can't understand the emotions of others. Perhaps this makes me seem cold. Such is my nature, I suppose. And then Venus says, I must admit that the sheer power my brother possesses is far, far outclasses my own. I wonder if he even feels anything when he swings that blade of his. Oh my god, amazing. But either way, yeah, I'll end off this episode here. Hope you guys have enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.